All right guys, welcome back. So I know it's been a while, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to have more vivid dreams at night. Now, when I say vivid dreams, I mean like really vibrant, intense, you feel like you're right in the middle of what's going on compared to what most people experience, sadly, which is sort of fuzzy, hazy, types of dreams where you can't really focus on what's going on. You know, maybe you'll have like a fragment of the dream where you fo you can see what's going on and then the rest of the time it's just a hazy mess. You wake up, you can't really remember what happened. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to not do that, how to have the really vivid, exciting, intense dreams and experiences that you can actually remember. Because let's be honest, why would you wanna have a fuzzy dream? You know, you, we all want to have uh, those types of dreams where it seems so real and vivid that you can almost reach out and touch it. And then when you wake up, you have the incredible memory of that dream. And like I said in many other videos, to your brain, that is the same as if you'd actually done the thing. If you have a really vivid dream about, you know, skydiving, for example, to your brain, that's the same as if you had actually skydived. The same neural circuits fire in your brain. It's very interesting. I mean, I could go on for ages about that, couldn't I? But I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna ramble on. So let's just get right into it. How to have more vivid dreams. So number one, you need to keep a dream journal. Uh, if you don't keep a dream journal, you're gonna have a hard time remembering your dreams because like I've said in other, you know, many other videos, you need to keep a dream journal to train your subconscious mind to actually remember dreams. If you don't do that, you're gonna find it very hard to have any sort of dream recall, let alone a vivid dream recall. So make sure you're keeping a dream journal. That's really, really important. And there are many ways of doing this, by the way. Uh, you can actually use, I've recently um, been updating my Lucid Dreaming app. If you just type in how to Lucid on the, uh, the iPhone store, you can find my Lucid Dreaming app. It's going to have a night mode so that you don't get woken up by the glaring you know, flash of light if you're trying to write your dreams down early in the morning. That's not out yet, but by the time you watch this, it might be out yet. So just check it out. Type in Lucid Dreaming to the iPhone store and look for my logo, which is the I you know, the gray and black eye, but it's now changing to be the black and blue eye with a little crescent moon in, the, in where the pupil should be. Number two, and this is one that will also help your sleep quality, is to take melatonin supplements. Now, you, you don't have to take supplements, by the way. What I mean is just increase the level of melatonin in your system when you're trying to go to sleep. This is really important. Melatonin is known as the hormone of darkness because it really does help you sleep. As we go through the day, you know, our body over time, leading up to the point where the sun goes down, starts producing more and more melatonin. The more melatonin you have in your system, the more you will be able to fall asleep. It's like a sedative. And most people don't have enough melatonin because they watch, you know, TV screens and things uh, late into the night, which stops your body producing melatonin because of the blue light. I've made other videos about this, but if you wanna have more vivid dreams, you need to increase your level of melatonin. Easy ways of doing that is you can take a, a spray. You, you can get melatonin sprays now where you just spray it into your mouth. It's, it tastes like mint or whatever, and uh, it's really easily absorbed. Or you can do other things like just general biohacking. You know, you can wear a pair of um, blue light blocking glasses. Blue light blocking glasses, which will stop the blue light entering your eyes, helping your body to produce melatonin. You know, I'll try and link to these in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. But um, the other thing is just to make sure that you keep a consistent sleep habit. You know, you go to bed at roughly the same time, but more importantly, you wake up at the same time every morning. This is really important, even on weekends, because it helps you train your body to produce melatonin throughout the day, so that as you naturally get closer to the evening, you start feeling tired because there's enough melatonin in your system. It's really important, and it's a simple thing that would really make a difference to not only the quality of your sleep, but also to how vivid your dreams are, and also how much you can remember of them. Because like I said, dream recall, you know, it's, there's no point lucid dreaming if you can't remember the dreams to begin with. You need to have a good level of dream recall. And we're gonna get onto more powerful tips now, so don't go away just yet. There's some really powerful uh, ways and hacks that you can use to have much more vivid dreams. I'm really excited about this, so stick around. Number three is listening to music while you sleep. Now this is something that I've done a few times, and I know that the YouTuber Daniel Love actually made custom dream audio tracks to listen to while you sleep to sort of guide you into a certain let's say feeling, a certain emotional state which you can subconsciously absorb and as it's been proven many times, sound enters your dream in some way. 
So if you have a, you know, a certain type of music playing while you're sleeping, that type of energy and emotion from the music will then enter your dream and influence it. Now you won't hear the whole track, you know, just as if you were awake, but you'll hear little fragments of it. You know, maybe it's like the piano music in the background, maybe it's the rain noises, and then suddenly you're on a beach and it's raining. You can influence your dreams with music. So, and this is another way of becoming more, having more vivid dreams because the more senses you involve when you're dreaming, the more you'll be able to remember it. Senses are highly linked to memory and dream recall. If you can involve all of your senses, you know, whether that's auditory, kinesthetic, you know, everything like that, you will be much more able to remember those dreams in the morning. So try it out. Try uh, listening to some sleep tracks from, you know, Daniel Love as an example, The Lucid Guide, or you can listen to your own ones. You can just even just leave rain noises on or whale noises on in the background while you sleep. That's going to really make a huge difference to, to how vivid your dreams are. Now, if you don't want, if you sleep with a partner, for example, or if you don't want to have music playing out loud, you can actually use what are called sleep phones. A sleep phone uh, is a what we what we what we could call um, sleep headphones. This is the particular brand that I use, which is sleep phones. And basically, they're just really comfortable. It's a headband that you put on, and the headphones themselves are actually embedded in the material here. They're actually embedded in the material here, and what that means is that you can lay on your side, like most people are side sleepers, and the headphones don't feel like they're burrowing a hole into your brain. They're comfortable to wear, is what I'm saying. So, and that worked with, you know, Bluetooth. Again, links for the sleep phones will be in the description, but I'll also give a link to just the generic pair that you can get. I mean, you don't have to get these ones. This is just the pair that I use. I've tested a few of them. Um, so yeah, sleep headphones, but more importantly, just listen to music while you sleep. It doesn't have to be a track. It can just be rain noises, whale noises, ambient sounds, even piano music, but listen to something. Guarantee your dreams will be more vivid. Number four, set your alarm to wake you up in the middle of your REM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement and it's when you have the most, it's when you're most likely to dream, to lucid dream, and also to remember those dreams, the REM sleep. And this normally happens in the last sleep cycle of the night, which is usually roughly 10 to 15 minutes of REM sleep you're gonna get in that last sleep cycle. So sleep cycles are made of 90, 90 minute chunks of time. Within those 90 minutes, you have five sleep stages. In the last sleep stage of the cycle, so at the last part of that 90 minutes, you have REM sleep. So you wanna to, to time this, you know, to wake you up at the right time. You wanna try and set your alarm to go off after roughly six hours of sleep. So let's say if you go to sleep at 12, you wanna have your alarm going off at 6 a.m. to wake you up, hopefully just before or just in the middle of your, the last sleep cycle or the last one or two sleep cycles of the night so that you can hopefully get in the middle of your REM sleep. And then when you do that, you can either go back to bed, you know, with the intention of lucid dreaming, you can do uh, the wake back to bed or the wild technique. But if you just wake up during that time, it's very likely you will remember your dreams just by waking up at the right time. Because here's what happens. Most people when they dream, uh, sorry, when they sleep, they have loads of different sleep cycles, let's say five sleep cycles of 90 minutes roughly per night. And a lot of people dream in every one of those sleep cycles. The problem is when you have one sleep cycle, you have a dream, and then you go into the next sleep cycle, the next 90 minute segment, you t that tends to overwrite the memory of the first dream. Now this doesn't happen all the time, and there are people, lucky people, who can remember dreams from all of their sleep cycles. But what usually happens, and certainly what I found to be the case, is that your last sleep cycle the dreams you have in that part of the night will tend to overwrite the dreams that you have in the other parts of the night. That's not always a bad thing because like I've said, that is the longest period of REM sleep, so it's the best dream. So you're actually remembering hopefully the best part of the night's dreams, but it does mean that you get rid of or you know overwrite the memories of all of those other dreams that you've had during the night. A way of avoiding that, or at least a way of getting one extra sleep cycle, is just to wake yourself up before your last 90 minute sleep cycle. So that you at least remember two dreams, you know, two nights, uh, two sleep cycles worth of dreams, instead of just one. Now, I do actually have, I did create my own technique for lucid dreaming called the 90 Isled, the 90 Induced Lucid Dream. And as the name suggests, that technique involves basically 
waking yourself up every 90 minutes for the whole night so that you remember dreams from every single 90 minute sleep cycle. Very tiring, it's gonna make you feel rubbish in the morning, but you will remember potentially five or six dreams in one night. There's also a very good chance that one or two of them will become lucid. Just because you're waking yourself up at the right time, you're keeping your serotonin levels up, which are responsible for critical thought and self-awareness, you basically guarantee you're gonna have one lucid dream if you do this every day for a week, but I wouldn't recommend that. Why? Because you will feel tired and it's not good to interrupt your sleep for much longer than a day. You know, and this goes for the wake back to bed as well. You shouldn't be doing it. You should be ideally having eight hours of uninterrupted sleep. But of course, we're lucid dreamers. You know, we don't care about that too much because we want to get those lucid dreams in. We want to have those awesome experiences. And although it would be healthier to sleep for eight hours nonstop, it, the truth is that you're more likely to lucid dream if you do interrupt your sleep and actually you know, cut your REM sleep in half or at least enter that last sleep cycle of the night with whatever method you want. Wake back to bed, wild, the 90 yard, whatever. So long story short, set your alarm to wake you up during or before your last sleep cycle. And that's it. That is, my, in my opinion, the most powerful tip for having more vivid dreams. You can also supplement with things like vitamin B6. This is mainly for dream recall, but it also makes the dreams more vivid. Uh, you can also look at things like the ingredients of a supplement called Mind Lab Pro, uh, which I'm not gonna go into the, the, all of the ingredients because this is not a review video. I do actually have a review video of that supplement if you want to check that out. I'll link to that in the description. But in a nutshell, it's good for lucid dreaming in general. Now, one caveat of that is it's not it's not a specifically designed lucid dreaming supplement because you know for that you would look at things like Hoopazine A, Alpha GPC, and you would try and you know it's not that. It's more for overall awareness and mental function and memory. That's what it's mainly for. It's a nootropic. But I found that my dreams when I take that nootropic are much more vivid, and more of them are lucid. So you know it's neither head it's. So, you know, it's neither here nor there, but if you are interested in it, there is a link to that in the description and there is a link to my review of that in the description. At this point, you're probably wondering how many links can I fit in the description? Well, the truth is I could fit as many as I want, <laughs> but hopefully they will all be useful to you. Hopefully, you know, uh, you care in some degree, you, you want to have a look at one of them uh, because it's a useful resource for you. Anyway, um, the plan going forward is to make about one to two videos per week and they will also be you know released as a podcast episode if you are listening to the podcast version then try and you know follow on whatever platform you're on and also go to the youtube channel howtolucid.com because that's where you know you can get to know me a bit better you can see a bit more of what's going on that's all for now guys leave a comment letting me know what you think about this and i'll see you in the next video done